What's going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome to this video. So if you're new to the channel, um, I'm 21 years old and I'm currently a medical student studying in London, um, but my last degree was actually in biomedical science. And I was thinking about what video to make next and I realized I've talked to you guys so much about medicine and I've completely forgotten about my last degree, which is biomedical science. And that's obviously such an important thing to me. I was there for three years. Um, so I thought I'd tell you guys a bit about it. And if you're thinking about studying biomedical science, um, particularly at the University of Birmingham or just in general, Hope this video can kind of give you an idea of you know the thought process that I had back in my A-levels and hopefully you can take something from this video and it can help you out in some kind of way. So in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about why I decided to do biomedical science um, and I'm also going to tell you about where I applied, um, the entry requirements that I had, and why I chose to study at the University of Birmingham. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into the video. So why did I decide to do biomedical science? Um, so way back in the day, actually not way back in the day, it was about four years ago, but back in the day, when I was in my A-levels, I was doing maths, I did biology, I did chemistry, and I did further maths for AS. And in my AS, I was predicted A star, A, B, and the B prediction was in chemistry. Now, at the time, I really wanted to do medicine, um, but because I got a B in chemistry, I basically couldn't apply to medicine, because I knew if I applied to medicine with a B in chemistry, there's no way it'd take me. So I got predicted A star, A, B, and I was like, okay, so what should I do next? And at the time, I guess I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I was like, you know what, I like biology, um, so screw it, I'm gonna apply for biology. So that's exactly what I did. I went to the UCAS form and I typed in biology and I just submitted this, and I submitted my application form for biology. So as I said, I didn't really know what I wanted to do at the time and I was like, yeah, let's go do biology. Um, I carried on researching the internet um, after I applied for biology and I came across this degree called biomedical science. And I was like, oh, you know what? This actually sounds really interesting. Stupidly, I was like, crap, I applied for biology and I don't even want to do biology. I really want to do biomedical science. Um, so I emailed my universities and I was like, please, 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 can you change my application? I don't do biology anymore. Biomedical science is what I wanted to do. Um, and four out of the five universities got back to me and were like, no problem at all. We'll put you in biomedical science and then we'll post your application for biomedical science. So I applied to University of Birmingham. I applied to Manchester. Um, I applied to um, Southampton and I applied to York as well. Oh, and Westminster as well. Um, Westminster was just like a space filler. I, didn't, I don't even know why I applied there to be honest. Um, if you don't want to go to the university, don't even bother applying. Make sure you fill up all your spaces with the university you actually want to go to. Um, so I made the mistake of applying to universities that I didn't really care about. So I applied to Westminster, I applied to Southampton as well. Um, Southampton was nice, um, but when I went to the campus, it didn't really feel like it was for me. It was, really, it was a really good university, but I just didn't feel that, you know, the vibe that I wanted to feel. So Southampton, you know, I was like, okay, I apply for it, but not really my first choice. I also applied for Manchester. And Manchester was amazing, like I went for the interview um, and it was so good. The university's facilities were amazing. Um, it just was a really nice university. It had a really good vibe as well. So Manchester was one of my top choices as well. Um, I also had the University of Birmingham. Now when I went for the University of Birmingham, I went for the applicant visit day um, and it was amazing. I love the campus. It was very green, um, it was very open. Um, it was medic biomedical sciences taught in medical school as well. And medical school, it was so good. Like it was, it looked really new. The insides were useful. So I was like, I really want to go to the University of Birmingham. Um, yeah, 100%. Unfortunately, York didn't agree to transfer me from bi from biology to biomedical science. Um, so York was out the window. For me, it really was down to um, University of Birmingham and University of Manchester. But going back to why biomedical science, um, medicine aside, when I was a little kid, I really, really wanted to be a scientist. Um, I used to watch that cartoon called, um, what was it called? Uh, Dexter's Laboratory. I love Dexter's Laboratory. It's my favorite cartoon ever. Um, and obviously he's a scientist. If you guys are 90s kid and you remember Dexter's Laboratory, let me know, because it'll be so funny to see if anyone actually remembers it. But Dexter's Laboratory was an amazing cartoon and it really inspired me to become a scientist. I know it's kind of a rubbish way of being inspired to do something, but I really wanted to be a scientist when I was a kid. And although biology was quite interesting, I wasn't really into like all the photosynthesis and all those like, animal and plant stuff. I really hated that. So yeah, I ended up getting offers from all the universities um, apart from York, which um, gave me biology. Um, so I chose the um, University of Birmingham as my first choice and I put Manchester as my second choice, I think it was. And the results day, I got ABB. The offer for Birmingham and Manchester were actually um, AAB. So I actually missed the grades um, for biomedical science because I got ABB. And for some reason, Birmingham decided to let me in um, anyways. Um, so I went to Birmingham. I had an absolutely amazing time in Birmingham. Like the university is amazing, um, the surrounding area is amazing, the city itself is so, so good. The medical school is really, really good. So whether you want to do medicine there or biomedical science, the medical school is so, so good. The accommodation is really good as well. Um, in my first year, I stayed in university accommodation and I had quite a small room, uh, probably the size of the room I have right now. Um, so it's pretty, very small and I shared a toilet with one other person. Um, so that wasn't too bad. And there was about eight people in my flat. But I had a really amazing time at Birmingham. Um, if you guys think about applying to Birmingham and you want me to kind of like make a video about my experience at Birmingham and what I think of it, um, comment down below and let me know. Before I finish the video, to kind of give you guys a few tips when applying to biomedical science, 
The first thing is obviously make sure it's the right degree. Um, so don't do what I did. Don't apply for biology. I really wish I didn't do that. It would have saved me a lot of hassle if I actually did a lot of research about the degree before. So spend as much time as you can thinking about it. At the time when I couldn't apply for medicine, I really didn't care about what I got into when I really should have. Um, so think about what you want to apply to. The next thing is don't apply for universities that you don't want to go to just to kind of um, fill the space. Take time to go to different open days. So I went to open days in Birmingham, Manchester and Southampton and Queen Mary's as well. So try to go to as many open days as you can. See the university because if you because you want to be spending three years of your life there. So you want to make sure it's a university that you actually want to go to. And a university like that can kind of, they have a good vibe too. Because when you go to the university and you actually go there, you will feel like whether or not it's for you. And don't just apply to universities because they're high up on the table or high up on the charts. Um, I would much prefer going to university that I feel comfortable with, university that I love, like, you know, a city I love, rather than going to university that's really high up on the charts and I really don't enjoy. I also chose Birmingham because Birmingham isn't too far away from where I live. I'm from London, if you guys didn't know. And Birmingham was only like two and a half hours um, door to door on the train. So I wanted somewhere that's kind of far enough to be away from my family and kind of um, be independent and, you know, experience a life on my own but not too far away where like, if I wanted to do my washing or if I wanted to get my mum to make me food, I'm not joking. Um, not too far away from, you know, when I want to go home and see my family, um, I can do that. I don't want to be somewhere like random across, across country, like in Newcastle, which is like six hours away. That's another thing, because Manchester was like four hour drive, whereas Birmingham was like two and a half hours. So I really wanted to be kind of close to home, but not too close to home, if you know what I mean. Birmingham is also the second biggest city in the UK, so I didn't want to go somewhere which is like a really small town where there's nothing to do. I went to visit Birmingham before and I went to kind of see what's around there. So I went to the shopping mall, the ball ring shopping mall. I went around New Street as well. And I wanted to go to a city which had, you know, a lot of stuff to do where I'll actually enjoy my three years there. And I actually did a lot of stuff in Birmingham, for, you know, throughout my three years. So I was really happy with the decision I made um, on the city. Birmingham is also a really good university in terms of research. So obviously, um, applying for biomedical science, I knew that if I didn't get into medicine, um, or if, you know, if I wanted to do research on its own, it is a Russell Group University, um, and they have an amazing research facility. So right next to the medical school, they actually have a building called the Institute of Biomedical Science, where I did my, um, where I did my, dis my third year dissertation, and I also did an eight week research project in my second year there. So, so research is massive in Birmingham, and research still uh, means a lot to me right now. Um, so as a medical student, I started doing research in dermatology in Guy's Hospital. So if you want to do research, or you want to do arts, or wherever it is, or PE, make sure the university you're going to are actually good at you know what they do so if you want to do music make sure the school you're going to actually is renowned for doing music and is really good to do music or similarly if you want to go to like a sport university study PE make sure the university is actually really big on their research in sports and they do really well in sports as well so that's why I decided to do biomedical science um, at the University of Birmingham I really hope you've enjoyed the video and it's been somewhat informative if it has been informative, please make, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as well in the comment section. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and maybe share the video if you'd like it. Um, and thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.